the thing. That's the that's the main point I want people to get out of this video. Yeah. Pray against it so it will not happen. So Praise Master Jesus. Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. God is a good God. Yes, he is. God is a good God. God is awesome, wonderful, yes. perfect God. My wife had a dream, and I want her to share this dream. Yeah, so in the dream, um, I was a young lady in the dream, and uh, I was in the dream warning. I was like, we need to get we need to get ourselves prepared that something is about to happen again. And so in the dream, it kind of reminded me of what Texas went through. You remember Texas had went through this crazy snowstorm, and this snowstorm uh, made a lot of people lose power. And I don't think it was just Texas. I think it was other states too, but I live in Texas. So, and I hardly watch the news, but in Texas, in real life, it was a horrible storm, right? And, uh, the snore took a lot of people's power out and, uh, it, our water froze up personally, our water froze up to the point that we had to go outside to use, um, snow, uh, to melt it, to flush our commode. Okay. <laughs> you know, and, uh, I didn't stock up very well, like how I should have, I should have been prepared more. And in the dream, I said, I, we need to prepare because yeah. something is about to happen again. Yeah. You know, so stock up water, all that. That's what I was saying in the dream. I was just preparing myself. And, uh, I, in this dream, I didn't know if it was like another disease too, that was trying to come out or are they trying to say that was coming out. Right. Yeah. So in the dream, I was kind of mixed between, is it a storm or is it another disease that's coming out? Yeah. So that's what I was uh, saying in the dream. And this is a message from God. Be prepared. Mm -hmm. Be prepared. There is a, there's something demonic plans that the enemy has projected that is about to come out. Just be prepared in your home, in your mind. Be prepared. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 a lot of people interpret dreams. It's not three days of darkness. It's not three days of darkness. If you are listening to this video and you are believing in three days of darkness... You need deliverance. You need total, total deliverance from heaven above. Amen. So we need to be very careful when God is letting us to know the devices of the enemy. Mm -hmm. And I believe with all my heart that they're going to speak concerning disease. It's going to be like something, some, some sort of, hey, disease, hey, hey, to put people into fear. And wow. to control their mind in exactly the direction that the, the leaders of, of this whole world want people to go. Mm -hmm. it's control. Gonna, it's going to be a, like a, a mass control in the whole, like, hey, 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 hey prepare, prepare your mind, prepare mm -hmm. yourself. Wow. We're going to pray that this does, yeah. this will not come to pass. We're going to pray that this doesn't happen because they're going to use that time to really, really, attack some cities, attack some homes, attack some mind. Mm -hmm. We're going to pray against that, that this plan will not come to pass. That's the thing. That's the, that's the main point I want people to get out of this video. Yeah. Pray against it so it will not happen. So yeah. they won't manipulate, whether if it's false or real, yeah. uh, it will manipulate in this line, right? Yeah. But at the same time, I see what the Lord is saying, just in case you don't have the faith. Yeah. <laughs> You yeah. know, you need to, well, hey, I believe faith and not faith, it's always good to prepare. Yes. Like uh, when we was going through all of that, yeah. tissue and water was the main thing. Yeah, it's, it's good to prepare. Listen, you yeah, as awesome. a Christian, as a Christian, it's so good to prepare yourself. Let's, let's assume somebody invaded your house, broke in your house, and what are you going to do? You're going to bring up the Bible and be clapping, thank you, Jesus. No, you're going to prepare yourself. You're going to be ready physically and spiritually. That's the, the things that I'm going to be teaching on people, how mm -hmm. to, you know, Amen. take the scriptures, take the things of God. Prepare yourself. Right. Look at Noah. God said, I'm going to destroy the world. I want you to prepare yourself. He was prepared mentally and also physically. Mm -hmm. So we always as Christians have to prepare ourselves 
your faith makes you to be ready. Exactly. Your faith mm-hmm. is like, uh, how are you going to bring up, uh, like you boil up a water and uh, you know it's, it's water, hot water, but you, you say, I have faith. I will put my hand. It's not uh-huh. going to hurt me. <laughs> That's it, a good it, one. It's not going to hurt you, but it, it can mm-hmm. kill you. Right. You know, so it, it will hurt you, mess out of you, you know, uh, destroy your hands and all that. So right. we have to understand the key of this knowledge Mm -hmm. you know when religious christians are so into religious so horrible mentality is so it's so crazy that the you know that mindset works with witchcraft it works so much so demonized you i hope you understand this it's true so we need to understand when god is saying go in your house close the door and pray is different from when God is saying, go in your house, prepare, there's something that is going to happen. I want you to buy food. I want you to be prepared. Mm-hmm. God is a merciful God. He's, right. He don't want you to be a victim Come of on. anything evil. And that's said We have to even say this on this video. He, you know, but it's he, just the truth. It's just the truth. Y'all, people really be doing the most. The, you know, like doing this whole the most situation. If you tell them yeah. to be ready, they tell you, I'm reading Psalm 91. Oh, I'm, Everybody reads Psalm 91. <laughs> even the people, unsafe people, read Bible more right. than you. You don't know that. But that's... David was prepared in so many Joseph so told many Joseph told uh, the king to get pre- prepared for yeah, the fe- to stock fe- up the fe- that is coming. Yeah. We have to understand mm-hmm. the principles of God. Right. It's and nothing wrong. Why, it's not a sin. That was why the Bible to get prepared. Been... It's not saying that you don't have faith. Come yeah. on. Faith without works is dead. Mm-hmm. And the, the Lord don't want us to be stupid out here. That was you why know? the Bible made it very clear mm-hmm. that my people perish for, for lack. lack of knowledge. Yes. We need to start asking God for knowledge, for wisdom, for understanding. That's exactly. all we need as Christians. Exactly. That's all we need. Oh, my pastor told me. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, look, look, let's look into it this way. Your pastor, you're going to be sick, or maybe you are sick, or something like that, and you call your pastor, your pastor will pray for you and tell you to, you know, uh, don't worry about it, you're going to be healed, right? Yes, there is nothing bad in prof- prophecy or declaration, mm-hmm. but your pastor, when he's going to be sick, you see him traveling outside the country or going to the best uh, 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 hospital for treatment. Mm-hmm. But you was, he prayed over you and asked you to drink some water, that everything is going to be good. But he went to hospital. This is the knowledge that God is trying to uh, place upon his people. Right. God gave these doctors, these nurses, this people gift to be able to treat people. If you read Old Testament, mm-hmm. you see so many places that the need they were in need of God provided mm-hmm. the people with the gift to help them out. Right. So always. Can I say something? Yeah. I know this is going. Uh, this is this is on topic, but at the same time, people or my eyes are going to open up. So with me, I, as me and my husband, we do deliverance ministry, yeah. right? So with me. Um, People be like, yeah, Satan's attacking me. I, I have infirmities in my body, you know, stuff like that. They want us to pray for them, you know. And I'm okay with praying for anybody. Yeah. But at the same time, pray and move in action. Yeah. So people can be, like, sick and they think the enemy is just attacking them. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm just like, you need to eat healthy. Yeah. You got to eat healthy. You got to be prepared, man. You have to be prepared. You got to eat vegetables. Yes. You can't just be like, Satan's attacking me and my health and I have infirmities, but you eat ice cream every day. You know, that's just not going to work. Yeah. You know, so God is over here saying, you want you want to be healthy, right? But you eating hamburgers every day, eating pizza, every, you eating rice. A lot of people from other countries eat a lot of rice, you know, and they thinking that's okay. Yeah, God, mm-hmm. Satan is attacking me. I'm just like, no, I don't, I don't, I feel like that's just a waste of yeah. prayer. Yeah. Um, like, yeah, well, uh, we need to pray that you eat right. We yeah. need to pray that you start drinking more water Do right because thing. it does not make any sense. It's a waste of praying for mm-hmm. your health when you're not moving in action on eating healthy. I yeah. just don't get it. Yeah. You know, 
I will never turn anybody away though for prayers. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, that's just the facts of it all. Like so. the Christian community needs to get better on that. Infirmity should not be a part of your life when God has given us to God yeah. to eat a little bit more healthy. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Be prepared. Mm-hmm. Be prepared. Use knowledge. Use yes. wisdom when God speaks. Be prepared. All Amen. right. Man, listen. If you haven't subscribed to Henry and Monique, go ahead and do so. You know why? Because it will automatically make you a cool make Christian. Make you a cool Christian. Because cool Christians, we hang, we hang out, out over here. here. God bless you all. We love you guys. Bye. Bye. Y'all.